What's going on guys? We are back and we're going to be playing around with the uh, the Hall of Champions deck here. And I think that's a hand we can keep. It's not great, but it's not too terrible. Um, so let's uh, pass the turn. We'll play, we'll play real magic here. And I'll uh, wait until... You know, we do something with the, uh, till we see what he's doing. Oh, stop. And sec. Let's get some white mana going. Confirm. Okay. Um, well, that's not the greatest thing in the world. I would very much rather... Okay, that seems okay to me, since I haven't played a land yet. Does not seem that bad. And then I think we should go and get the blue mana now, especially that he unsummoned. Phantasmal Bear, okay. A response, sack and grab a blue mana. We're very likely to grab the green. There's much more green in there than there is blue. If we get the green here, if we get the green, we win. Like, no questions asked. We just dominate. Hell, I can even use my, uh, my sigil to kill his dude. So I'm okay with that entirely. Oh, that's a 3-4. We might have to sigil that. Oh, it's only target creature I control. Boo. I can still use... If I can get the green, I can... I can Bant Charm it and kill it. Nope. Another white mana. Wow, that's awful. I definitely should have grabbed green. I mean, we're not dead yet. It's definitely not looking good for us. <laughs> There's so much blue, though. Like, blue's my harder color to get. I had to go for the blue. I mean, I should have went for blue and green off the two t Terramorphics, but I didn't have the other white mana in my hand, so I mean, I couldn't do that. But it's not over yet. It's not over yet. We get the right thing if we get a green land this turn. Oh. I mean, that's good enough might be. Hopefully he taps out to play something this turn. Ugh. But that's not the thing I want him to tap out and play. I'll resto and get rid of that. We don't want to return anything, so no targets. And then we'll block there, get rid of the bear. I'll take five, which sucks. Puts me at eight. But I need to get green. Or not. <laughs> like, green should not be the problem, the color that I have any problems getting. So. I mean. I think my options are. No, I don't really have much of options to go with. No, I should say you're just gonna attack me with the one. I think I take seven and go to one. Because my only option is that I draw green mana and then I can put the behemoth sludge on there and then attack for six, which still I don't think gets me out of it. Nope, that's another white mana. That's just a ton of white. <laughs> Ugh. I mean, I, I honestly, that's half of my white mana. I think I only run, I'm thinking I only run nine. 
So that's much more than half of my white mana. Um, but no, I mean, if I would have had anything decent there, it would have been okay. Oh. So let's see. Why can we not advance? There we go. We're ready up again. Oh, he quit. That's no fun. Um, yeah, let's take a look at it real quick, what I got. Nine white, five blue, and seven green. Like, I'm okay with that. Let's go back into the multiplayer, though, and find a match. Like, everything in my hand need a green there. So let's see if Pryco is willing to uh, verse us. Or if he's just going to take forever to get ready. Huh. There we go. Alright. So that's green-white. That's not bad. He plays first. We can keep that hand, I think. I think we can get the Knotline Paladin out real fast. And then if we can follow that up by you know, getting a blue mana, be amazing. But like, uh, right now, you know, that blue mana is so important so early, but it's just so hard to get. Now we're playing a mirror, and he started off with an exalted dude, which is awesome. Yep, like that's exactly why the blue mana is so important so early. Oh, my dude's bigger. Oh, my dude's not bigger. If I can play a creature, he's bigger. But we also need to draw a land here, which we should be able to, because I'm running 25. And he gets perfect mana, which is awesome. So we're going to lose this game. Unless we draw a blue mana right here, and we can drop a Rock's War Monk. Well, that's a blue mana. That is blue mana. Unfortunately, it is not the best blue mana. Um, so, I mean, I'm going to hit him for two. As long as we can continue to draw lands, we should be fine. And then, I drop the Rock's War Monk next turn. And then we have the Bant Charm the following turn, or the Death Duelist, or you know, whatever we really want. We can get a land, we can get the Restoration Angel out and make some good plays. So he's further along in the deck than I am. Each other multi-creature, colored creature gets, okay, that's fine. Because I can use combat tricks to force him into bad attacks or bad blocks or whatever else. I feel like each other multi-colored creature you control. So it's just creatures that he controls. So let's get the Rock's War Monk out there. And attack for three. And then, next turn, we've got a couple options of things to do. But I'm going to start gaining life. The only thing that I hope he doesn't drop is he doesn't drop Finest Hour here. That would hurt a little bit. Nope, it's a Kwasali Pride Mage. Okay. That makes a very big attacker. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I take five. All right. That helps. I mean, I can play the Quasali Pride Mage and not have to worry about. But at the same time, I need to be able to deal with that. So. I attack with this. Maybe he thinks I'm an idiot and blocks with his pride mage. OK. 
Okay, he thinks I'm an idiot and blocks with his pride mage, and then I ban charm, and I put the Knight of New Alara on the bottom of his library, and then kill his pride mage, and gain three life. That works. Not upset with that trade at all. And then he hits me for three, and then I swing back for three. Three, four, actually, four, actually. Maybe I get the uh, land to get the finest hour out there. No, no, that's okay. Yeah, we put the pride mage out. Oh, he just left. Cool. That's awesome. <laughs> I love people that just rage quit. Like, don't even type GG, just rage quit. So, we're going to finish this game out against an AI, which is awesome. I hate that they made that, like, the standard. Like, you don't just get to choose, like, oh, yeah, I don't want AI replacement anymore. You actually have to go into options, and people are just too lazy. Too lazy to do that. So, hopefully, we draw the, uh... There's that land. So, here's what we do with this. This is a nice little trick with the uh, finest hour. So it, we swing with 5-6, and he should block. Or he doesn't block. Okay, he blocks. Okay. Well, that changes what I was going to do. I was going to attack with all three from this time. But... Now we'll just attack with a 7-6. That's fine. Then we win next turn. We should win next turn. Cool. Yeah, he had he had no outs there. Like, I don't... I like this because it has the basic land cycling, but honestly, you just don't need it. This guy's so good. Um... So we attack with... Well, this guy's gonna get plus 2... This guy's going to get bigger, so let's attack with him first. He's going to be a 6x versus the 5-5 five five that would have been there. And then we attack with everybody. So that we get to swing with an extra creature, basically. Cool. Well, we'll find another opponent. So if you haven't guessed it or looked at the length of this video yet, I am planning on doing as close to an hour of power as I can. It's a creepy, creepy ass picture. I don't know what it is, but it is creepy. So like, we get this hand. Like, what do you do with this hand? I play first, I gotta keep it, because I've got Rocksport, like and Rafik. Like, it doesn't get much better than that. Grab some white mana and pass the turn. So we're gonna be a bad magic player and do that. Lord of Leviathan. Okay. So let's grab this and go for I guess green mana. Why not? Now we've gone through seven of our lands. Technically. Seven of our 25 we've gone through already. So we should not draw that much. Um, Rock's more luck. Should have a relatively hard time dealing with him. Unless they char. And in which case I go... Uh, Squire, Sledge... they don't char then I just I think I sledge see and this is why I don't want to run threes because I don't want to double draw sledges and I absolutely played the wrong land there yep he's got char that's fine like I said I figured it was coming so next turn I play him and then equip the sledge and maybe I no I don't play another sledge 
I don't think this deck's good in 1v1s. I think this is definitely designed for two-headed. Um, because it really only runs like six creatures. I mean, you see a lot, and you get to play a lot, but like, I, I was playing around with it earlier, and like, it goes down to one life a lot. Like, you can win off of one life easily in the deck, but it goes down to one a lot. Oh, it's so good. The hands are so good. Like, Rafik. Oh my god. It's so good. Rafik, Finest Hour? Mmm. So solid. And we're just gonna make him waste burn spells on this before he can play a Kiln Fiend. Or the Wee Dragonauts. I mean, those are basically the only two creatures in the deck. There's only, I think, I mean, maybe eight when you get them all unlocked, but it's very hard to kill a player, especially that has lifelink. Like, see, he's, he just had to use a board wipe there to kill it. Play the other sledge. Why not? Unfortunately, I don't think lifelink stacks anymore. Whenever a creature attacks alone, give it double strike. Because that's fair. You gonna remand it or something? Searing Spirit. Okay. Um. I mean, do I play it? I think I play it. How much more removal can he have? This might be the remand. And I'm okay with that. Counter target spell, if that spell is countered this way, put it on top of the library instead. Okay. I'm okay with that. I'm very much okay with that. He doesn't have anything out yet, so we'll just play the finest hour. You gonna cancel me? I mean, I'm not an idiot. I know you have another counter spell, so I'm just gonna, you know, wait, wait you out. He might have a draining whelk. I know that's in there. Dauntless escort. you to use a burn spell. I'm going to sack it. <laughs> so, blah. <laughs> and eventually he's going to run out of burn spells. Every creature I play, he has to burn. Like, there's no option there. And that's a Draining Welk. It's a very big Draining Welk, unfortunately. Like I said, it's in the deck. It's unfortunate. It's a 7-7 seven, seven Draining Welk. That gets to attack me this turn. Yeah, I mean, I think it's like a one of them in the deck, so I mean... Ew. Oh, it's so bad. I need a land. I need a land if I want to have any hopes of surviving this game. Land right here. Okay. Rafik. And then he needs to not have a Searing Spear. Okay, Electropot or Electrolyze does two damage to me. The Draining Well is going to do... Seven. So I'm gonna be at one. Oh, yep, that kills me. I mean, he just had good removal that game. And I drew. I mean, I drew as many lands as he did. 
the double behemoth sledge hurt. That was that was what killed me. Absolutely. I mean, like, just kill me. I know you have it. Like, why would you risk me getting my Bant Charm? Like, what if I drew a Bant Charm there? If I drew a Bant Charm there, I win. Hands down. What? Really? I'm super goddamn confused. Like, what? I don't understand it. That makes literally no sense to me. How any of that happened. <laughs> like, all you had to do is electrolyze me. And you won. All you had to do was charm me, and he won. Draw a new hand. Yeah, I can keep this hand. Why not? Let's grab some green mana. Green. And... Let's... Okay, he's playing a different deck. White. I should be extremely solid at this game. I don't know what the greed is. Oh, I don't think it's my deck. Because the art on the forest looks slightly different. But... Who knows? Looks like one of the Kamigawa forests, though. I'm not sure. That's the elf deck. That's fine. I should be able to crush the elf deck. Sledge. Then he'll probably attack me for one, like a moron. Not knowing that I have the Quasali Ambusher. I'll play it and kill the Wellwisher. He's going to tap it and gain two life. Good play. Oh, let's pass the turn. Because essentially I have the ability to flash in two creatures this turn. So, target health can get plus three, plus three. I mean, yeah, I'll throw both my dudes in front of it, why not? It's a well-wisher. I'll get rid of it. Could probably kill my. Yep. It's fine. Let's uh, equip the sledge. It's fine. And then swing four. I gain four. And then... Next turn, either Janara or Sledge. If I don't get a land, it'll be Janara. If I do get a land, it will be Sledge. Oh, well, that seems good. Creature spells can't be countered. Okay, I wasn't countering any anyway.
I mean, I, I basically just need to survive until I can marshal coup. Well, well that might be the Rock's War Monk. Janar is a 4 4, though. And I can equip the sledge onto her later. attack and gain four life, why not? So that'll be a six, six, seven, seven next turn. I swing gain seven. Like putting the counters on him was the wrong play. You should have put him on him for sure. Yeah, that's the right play. Oh, I take 11. Ew. Ew. It's not good. Grab some white mana. Play the Rock's War Monk. Let's make her a 5 5. And do I attack for 9? Attack for 9, I gain 4. I think I just attack for 4. We're up to 17, okay. Yep. Yep. 17. Twenty-two, twenty-two. I mean, yeah. Why not? One, two, one, two, three, four. I need one land. Top deck a land. This one time and one time only. Don't want to top deck a land. So three will gain me three life and put me up to twenty. And then I prevent four. That's my block. Then I attack him and I win, right? Because two tramples over here, I need the land still. I absolutely need that land. The land is the only way that I live. There's the land. So that's actually I can only pump her three times. Um, three gives me eight. And then I trample over for two. Yeah, right? Okay. Okay. Continue. Attack with the team. GG. <laughs> that was enjoyable. There should be an achievement for surviving a 20 plus power creature. Absolutely should be an achievement for surviving a 20 plus power creature.
Nope. Yeah, but I'd still get five dudes and he doesn't. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control a blue permanent, you may put a copy that is him on the battlefield. Um, place first, which we're on the draw, and we have all three colors. I mean, I can't, can't turn that away. At any time, I cannot turn that away. Absolutely not. It's unfortunate that I have to keep that, but once again, I cannot turn that away. It's very likely that I'm going to have a blue permanent because I do play a lot of them. Unfortunately. Remand. Okay. There's the blue permanent that I need. Let's play this guy. As a worst case, he counters it. I'm okay with that. Uses a burn spell on it. Whatever. Doesn't matter to me. Do I play the Dauntless? Do I play the Sledge? Play the Sledge. An attack for that. Control blue permanent, you may put a token that's a copy of him onto the battlefield. So he just doubles and then doubles and then doubles. It's so dumb. It's a little ridiculous. He gets a little out of control real fast. Again, I really want to force him into the... I'm going to kill your dude. Okay. And make him waste a mass board wipe on it. That's fine. Now, if you tap out to play the Invoke the Fire Mind, I will punish you. Don't know if that's the right option, because you can probably deal with it. So that seems beginning of my upkeep only. Dauntless, equip it, have a 5-5, five five. make him burn two cards on it. make him burn something big on it. The more burn that I make him waste, he's got to at least do a char and then something else. Or a big earthquake. Oh, so many sledges. Like, are we serious here? so terrible. We just have to hope that he doesn't have a char. If he doesn't, we win. Like, hands down. Like, there's no way he can... Ew. Ew. Yeah, I wish to use that ability. Oh my god, it's so bad. You just charred originally. Just play another sledge. That's the turn. Like, he must have another char or something to deal with it? If he doesn't. Yeah, I mean, that's who you gotta hit. So that's nice. I get to ride the Banefire.
that's unfortunate. I really need to draw that second white mana. And this should, like, this should never happen. Like, I only have, I think, six forest. And I've got friggin' four of them. Let's equip it. You're gonna spear it, that's fine. I can't play anything else, so that's, that's okay with me. You're down to two cards. Ten of your lands, and I'm on. He's in eleven of his lands. That's not good for me. And there's the second white. What are the odds? That's fine. At some point in time, he's going to run out of answers. again. Let's make him bigger. It's fine. Like I said. Let's do that. And grab another white mana. Because why not? Oh. <sighs> One card in his hand, two now. One card in his hand. <laughs> Get all of them sledges. Get all of the sledges. Now we'll wait to the end of his turn so that he can't sort speed remove that. He has to cancel it or remand it or something. Or put it on top of my library. Okay. Attack. So you gotta do it for seven. He has one card in his hand. Yep. So we're both top decking now. And whatever I play is gonna be huge. And he's got to deal with 12 of my life. Okay. Ew. This is unfortunate. But the sigil gives me the opportunity to prevent him from killing one of my dudes. Land go, land go, land go. I can now counter an instant spell and I can pump my dude. So I'm in good shape as soon as I draw a creature. There are enough of them in here. There we go, there's a pride mage. Make me think you have a counter spell. That was a counterspell battle. If I've ever seen a counterspell battle. <laughs> These aren't quite as common today as they used to be when old counterspell was in. Good old counterspell was a little bit a little bit broken. Let's uh equip it. 
let's uh, equip it. I think we'll leave it there. I'm gonna grab a white mana. And we'll attack him. This will be eight, eight. Awesome, 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 awesome. So I think that's the third or fourth one that we've won. So we'll play one more with him if he if he's willing, Jade Orty. And I'll go take a look at the deck and see what we can fix. Yeah, we keep that hand for sure. We play first. Let's get myself a white land. White. Huh. I think this will be the last game we play with this guy. I'm tired of the blue-red matchup. It's a little annoying. Just a little bit. Definitely don't play the Genora unless he taps out to do something stupid. He doesn't. Can I remand him? Please. Okay. <laughs> really? Like, that just seems bad to me. It might not be. Like, he draws him a card, but he discards a card. All it did was save him two damage. That seems a little wasteful to me. Let's try him again. I want you to waste a burn spell on him. That's what I want you to do. That's, well, I guess that's not wasting a burn spell. That's staying even on your burn spell, but... Close enough. play the sledge. Don't memory lapse me. That would be a bitch. Okay. I really, really need to get a couple more lands, and I'm solid. It's just a matter of whether or not I can get a couple more lands. Why not? We'll play him. sure you have a burn spell for him, but that's fine. Maybe not. Or maybe he only has a sorcery speed burn spell. Or he wants me to equip it. Hmm. Oh, it can't be countered. Cool. That's fine. Volcanic Fallout, good. Um, do we do that? Like, I don't have... We wait a turn and equip it. If we just wait a turn and equip it, or try to equip it, it'll probably die instantly. But I would very much like to get another white mana. Hey. see what happens here. Let's try it again.
Okay. We do all this for you to take two damage and kill my dude. Okay. I'm okay with trading two of your cards for two of mine. I shouldn't be, but... Interesting. I definitely want the Rock Swarm more than I want the Janara. So that's why I did it that way. Um, let's equip him. There. I think that's the right mana combination, actually. Make him a 6-6. Six, six. Make him harder for you to deal with. And I'll gain 6 life, which makes me happy. Then we'll play Talsimir next turn. Yeah, you can Earthquake. Go for it. That doesn't work. <laughs> okay. Awesome. I mean, I don't think you have any way to deal all that damage to him. So I'm going to go find another opponent for the last set of matches we need. We'll see what the next opponent has for us. Let's find another opponent. Jador is the one that we uh, have been playing against. So actually, let's go into the deck manager real fast and rework the deck manager a little bit. Let's see what we unlocked. We unlocked... Faith Reward. Return to the battlefield all permanent cards in your graveyard that were put there from the battlefield this turn. I don't think that's a good card. That eagle's awful. Five mana for a 2-2. Two -two, no thank you. And then that. So we really just have the Sublime Archangel left is the only thing that we really need to unlock still. Um, let's find a let's find an opponent because I'm too lazy to create a match. Let's go to BioWars. BioWar, BioWare, BioWar. Nope, Sessions Fool. Let's do Sephiroth. Maybe, maybe not. They need to fix this. <laughs> like this is this whole. <laughs> queuing thing is just miserable. Miserable. Especially when the queues take eight years. This video is going to be well over an hour. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you prefer the shorter couple game videos or the ridiculously long I'm going to play all through it. I don't know. I've been watching Total Biscuit play Hearthstone and that's what really made me think about doing the longer videos because like I enjoy sitting down and watching him play for an hour 
which is in the Lord of the Arena stuff. And I haven't actually done any sealed stuff yet, so I should actually do some online sealed stuff, because that'll take a little while. But, like, it's just so unfortunate. Um, like, you don't actually get to keep the stuff. Like, you don't get to build your own deck, which is something that they really need to just add. They need to add, like, here's the M14 sealed, and you could just play M14 block. Yeah, let's keep this hand. It's not bad. It's not good. Not bad, though. I definitely like the 6 and 6. I think that's definitely the better, the closer way to go as far as mana is concerned. Um, let's sack this and grab a green or a blue mana. Let's grab a green. Because then if we draw another Terramorphic Bree... And sack it and go for you know, whatever color we want. I guess it really doesn't matter. I have to discard a card at random when it dies. It sounds like I don't want to uh, block it. It sounds like it's a 1 1 unblockable. Although it may be affect what I actually play next turn because there's very, very likely that he's got a Fleshbag Marauder that he's going to play. So let's play let's play the Dauntless. See what happens. Because I'm okay with the Dauntless dying more so than I am the War Monk or the Archangel. I don't know what he's got though. It's probably a fleshbag marauder. Yep. <laughs> and then I discard a card at random. So as long as it's oh, the one card that I did not want him to make me discard. That makes complete sense. There was a 1 in 6 chance that it was that card. Um, Let's play the Sublime Archangel. That's usually a good hey, hey, kill me card. Because if we can get Talsamir out there and get him stuck out there, then we should be fine. I have to sack a creature. Okay. You gain life. That's awesome. I'll just make sure that I don't get a rebound off that. Let's play that green mana there. Play the Behemoth Sledge and pass the turn. Tulsimar really needs, really needs haste. To be able to put out that 2-2 legendary green white wolf. Like, he absolutely needs it. I did War Chief. He is definitely a zombie. That hits me for five. Ew. Ew. I think he wins this game. I just didn't have enough creatures. And he made me discard the other one that I had and needed. If he doesn't have an answer for Talsamir, I think I'll be okay. I'll take five this turn, I equip the sledge, and then attack next turn. But I'm assuming that he's got a Doomblade or something. Or I take twelve. Ugh. Oh, that, that that escalated very quickly. To I can't control anymore. I'll block there, block the eight. I'll take six. My only option is a martial coup from the top. I get the Marshall Coup though and I win. Nope. No Marshall Coup. Oh, this, this shouldn't be that bad of a matchup. He just, like I said, he just got real lucky and got the Rock Swarm Monk that I was planning on playing that turn. Like, I, I called the entire thing and I was just like, ah, oh, you know, 50 50% chance that he hits a land. We got a 1 in 6 chance that he hits the Rock Swarm Monk that I want him, or that I don't want him to hit. And he just, you know, RNG'd very well. Uh, 
Um, yeah, we'll keep this hand. Let's see what he does. Black mana again. Okay. Let's see what we draw. Curious. Okay. So this is going to grab a green mana then. I have expected it to be a forest, just because I was just like, I can live without the forest. And that would be the time that I draw a double forest, you know. Or I draw a forest and then I don't need it. So I think this turn we play the Not Vine Paladin. And then next turn I play both my dudes. And I'm okay with him killing the Not Vine Paladin because it doesn't have Exalted. Ew. Ew, you should have mulliganed. Play that. Play that. Yep. You have to Doomblade the Not Vine Paladin. That's fine. I guess I expected it. Um... Let's attack. We can't attack. Pass turn. Ugh. Ugh. Now I have to sack a dude. Well, I guess I sack my 1-1. One, one. Seems good for me. Ew. That's awesome. But I might just want to save it for the instant. No, probably not. There's probably not an instant. Let's hit it for six. Just say screw it. Place him at 14. Cool. Cool, cool. I'm okay with that. Doesn't have trample. Should I just put it on the bottom? Yeah, let's do that. Because I don't want to deal with them. And then we attack him. For three. Place him at 11. And then depending on what we draw next turn... We draw a land, it'll probably be actually it might be Dauntless Sigil. I don't know. Okay, let's see. Finest Tower. Don't let him get two. Death Baron, Skeletons, and other zombies. As a Gravecrawler with Death Touch now, but he can't block, so I'm not real worried about him. Okay. If he, I was say, if he attacks wrong here, I can just kill him. So that's four. Next turn will be five. I mean, I'm going to force him to block with this dude, just because I can. So he's going to take 7 here, and I'm going to attack for 8. So he's got to block with this guy. Mm -hmm. 
I don't like the Death Baron, so. I'm okay with that play. You wondering why Death Touch didn't work? Because it doesn't have Death Touch. Like, I don't know what you could be looking at. It's other creatures, other zombies. Skeletons and other zombies. It's fine. You can have him. It's attack for four. That's you should take the four. Then I actually think I passed turn, maybe? I don't know, we'll kill, we'll kill this creature. Why not? Nothing wrong with that. <sighs> okay. That's fine. Let's see, 4-4, four, four. and then a 5-5. Five, five. And then we unlock the entire deck. Yes! Awesome. All right, guys. So let me know what you thought about this little super long video. Um, and then, you know, if you guys like it, I might try and do it more often. Um, but... Yeah, let me know what you guys think, and you know, if you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like or a comment. You know, I tried and see all the comments, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.